Hello people and today as promised from my Instagram story I am showing you my finished sketchbook and so without further ado let's go okay so here is the cover and you can see it was from so long ago so I drew this um, picture on October 2019 so that was like almost two years ago um, it's Julie Andrews um, firstly draft with a pencil and then I re-lined the entire thing with a black ballpoint pen which is um, this one um, can you see it um, yeah Faber Castle and then so I added the word supercalifactualistic expialidocious there because um, her arms here looks kind of like presenting something and so I just add that word and so let's move in Okay, so I really like putting good quotes on the first page of the book. So here's um, one. What is real and what is not? Can you tell me or are you? Perhaps we shall never know more than this, that to think a thing is to make it true. The Sun, Mary Poppins. So if you ever read um, Mary Poppins, the book version, you see a one character, which is the Sun. And so he often say... Um, very good words and so I really like this sentence. Let's move on to the next page. Um, this is just me drafting. On March um, 2020 I was planning on making a set of a paper doll but then um, this idea was um, wiped out because I had no time for that. And so here are some drafts. I was um, figuring about uh, how to draw a real portrait and so I was trying new styles and things like that so the faces might look kind of weird. This is Julie Andrews as Mary Poppins and this one is um, Audrey Hepburn uh, as Jo from um, Funny Face and you can see she's holding the balloon and actually this dress is not with the balloon if you have uh, if you have seen the movie before but I just really want her to be like flying with Mary Poppins and her umbrella here so that's it this one is um, inspired by Dr. Seuss book and one of them and so I see this lovely little sheep and so I kind of make her like the sassy Mrs. Sheep with fluffy sleeves and a lovely ring too and so here's a giant diamond and she looks like wearing high heels and this is like a brand name bag or something like that and a fancy old hollywood hat then it, we come to this one this is Lu Luisa from the sound of music and it's the behind the scene photo uh with her and Brigitte having like a picnic together and so that's the dress unfortunately um the original photo is like in black and white and so i really want to like add colors to her dress and so i was planning on like making this kind of like thing here stripy and green and then with um pink or purplish um bows or sash there and um, striped cloth here light green and then moving on i start drawing portraits again so i have to say that when i was young i used to really love portraits but then um every portraits i draw i drew turn out kind of not really realistic so i stopped doing so for a while but then at, like during march i have some sort of like new motivation to start take up portrait drawing again and so this is my first um new portrait era and it's actually um princess diana or lady diana and um it's not perfect but i was really proud of myself that i could do this but then my patience uh, got i lose my patience um finishing the crown tiara here and so it looks kind of like a rush but never mind then move on i drew um grace kelly as well um princess grace and there's some little mistake here with the mouth and i don't know what happened here but there's a blot of something and she doesn't really look like grace but still i'm very proud of how i managed to like draw all the hair here and then the earring looks great how i put the shadow to the dress here looks great so I liked it. Um, 
Next is Julie Andrews as Cinderella from the Broadway in 1957 and so this is like her but there's a mistake about here as well so something about her mouth didn't go right but still it looks very Julie Andrews so I'm okay with that. <laughs> The next one here, I remember this one. I drew this one like after coming out of an exam at school and then um, other people like kind of cram for the next subject but then I, I drew this and so uh, it's not the right time to do it but still um, this is Audrey Hepburn with her pet the fawn and this is like the 9th of March 2020. Next one is actually Joris Day. This is um, these twos I'm not quite proud of my work because um, turned out it did not really look like um, Doris Day because during that time um, Marsh I'm I was not really good with like the mouth anatomia and so the proportion of the teeth or the teeth size is really unrealistic Um, this one this look nothing like Doris Day um, something went wrong with the, like the upper part of her face and so um yeah this is me ranting about my own work here um doves and like it's the narnian theme and so here's lucy i kind of adapted oh it's not focusing is it sorry and so here's the lamp post the main um macguffin of the entire story um not really uh this one here what's wrong with this so basically um it's actually strawberry yogurt um it's there and so yeah i messed up with my own sketchbook there um and this is the narnian castle this one is kenny rogers and uh i drew this after receiving the news that he has he had passed away and it's kind of sad i really like his song and so here's his um three images um the young the quite old and the old <laughs> And this, um, I'm also a fan of like the Ghibli, the Ghibli studio and so um, here's House from House Moving Castle and um, Calicifer, um, the um, fire demon, like he's really cute and so I put it there and then this one I remember like making them at like 2 in the morning because it's during COVID and I have nothing to do and so I started making these calligraphies and so you can see like here it's Audrey Hepburn here, Lauren Bacall, um, Kara Burnett, Lucille Ball, Doris Day, um, this is actually my name, and then Cary Grant, Ingrid Bergman, Marilyn Monroe, uh, Julie Andrews here. Then um, it comes to the uh, kind of messy part of this sketchbook, and so um, this is actually like places in France or Paris that the cast went to um the cast of the film funny face and so i really want to go like follow their footages and so that's it and you can see this um audrey at louvre's and um her on a statue in the park and then her with the green dress in the castle um in the castle thing so next is me being obsessed with um, Sherlock Holmes and other places and so here is like places, plans on plans for holidays, so <laughs> boring quarantine, I was so bored and I really want to go traveling again and so here's my plan if it's okay to go again and first thing is the 221B Baker Street in London and then it's the 5th Avenue, the Tiffany and CO and then like the Manhattan House from Breakfast at Tiffany's and the New York City um the whole and then like there are also other films that is not quite old but I like for example you've got Mail by Tom Hank and Meg Ryan and then Sabrina um I'm going to Paris here as well and then Sabrina's for New York by the way um I'm going to Paris and then somewhere in London I've read that the um 17 Sherry Tree Lane is actually inspired by one house in um in England and so I've read that as like somewhere around Chelsea and Kensington so we're just gonna find that out later and then I'm visiting Paul's Cathedral because that's in Mary Poppins as well then I'm going to Rome for real because that's where Roman holiday took place and there's so many places there and so yeah 
move on this is like the entire plan of me going to places in uk um so not only sherlock holmes i'm going to oddly end if i can because i've watched that youtube video of like mrs crow comes and her victorian way cooking and i really enjoy that show um we come to anne of green gables which is one of my favorite book of all time and so all the entire plot took place in prince edward island in canada and so here's my plan if i can go there and then here it's audrey as um joe again from the funny face and so um this one has no draft i just start off with the black marker and so you can actually see that um her left arm is actually shorter than her right so here and then we move to here you can actually see that there's this um <laughs> yeah but apart from that i really like how i put the shadows and then like how I put dots here and stripes here things like that and then it goes so well with this highlight thing things here and then this is like my favorite quote kindred spirits are not so scarce as I used to think it's splendid to find out there are so many of them in the world and that's from Alan Montgomery from Anne of Green Gables and here I was testing my DIY highlights and so <laughs> Yeah, it turns out way, way, way better than expected. And so, yeah, it is what it is. And let me show you this first. So, um, there's this highlight um, by Pilot Friction. I'm not um, sponsored, but let me show you something. It's very um, good. Uh, you can actually open it here and refill whatever color you wish to add in with this um, refilling sponge you just soak this into the color you like and then you just put it back here and then you kind of like close it again and actually you have like the new color like so yeah but this one is like the same color so i actually have a pink um outside and a black inside so it's really cool and i kind of like prank my friend with this one so you see it's pink all my friend thought it was pink and so they picked it and they highlight their work and turn out it's black so yeah i'm very proud of myself pranking my friends and yeah they often complained yeah this is holly Golightly, but i kind of make it um old japanese anime-ish way and so I hope you liked it. I don't really like this one because I messed up with her um, dress here, but never mind about that. And so this one is um, Charlotte Holmes, but in the Gosho Aoyama's style. So I'm also a fan of Detective Conan or Case Closed. This is like, I drew Sherlock that Gosho Aoyama's way. And then I drew Sherlock like the style of um, BBC Sherlock by Benedict Cumberbatch with um, Mrs. Hudson here. And then um, also like Molly, if you know, Watson. Jim, Jim from the IT, Sherlock here, and um, they're all like um, focusing on some sort of like an experiment there. And so here is a um, something I drew on board, and it's kind of like a hill girl with a cow. She's wearing some sort of like a traditional dress here. Um, this is like a pop thing. I was trying to make this girl look kind of like um, a cat, so you can actually see her eyes here. There's some sort of like the makeup works here. And then it's um, Vera Clayton from Agatha Christie's book, and it's like it's. And then there were none. That's my favorite book. If you haven't read it yet, please go um, have a shot. Uh, give it a chance. It's really, really, really amazing. And then. Move to here, it's some sort of like the modern style of draw drawing and so I put like small eyes, like um, red cheek, but it's actually black and white and um, um this girl and then um, I just drew this hospital thing and oh it says bloody nurse, I don't know what that is and then this, uh, my sister drew this and then move, moving to my, um, one of the last works from this book, it's um, actually Norma Jean or um, Marilyn Monroe so it, this one took me like three hours and uh, the result kind of disappoints me right now at first i was really proud of myself but then looking back again she doesn't really look like marilyn so yeah we're almost at the end people and this is good morning um this is actually um debbie reynolds oh wait oh my god it's out of place okay so um this is debbie but i have added some tango twists here and so the song good morning like um, that one from Singing in the Rain, and so here it's where 
the new way, the very modern and tango-ish. This is Mary Poppins and I use an acrylic color and draw it on a transparent sheet here. I drew this and kind of make a hole here so that it can become like kind of like a bookmark and I'm thinking of like hanging this and so it's tra transparent and you can kind of like imagine she's actually flying. This is um, the one before the last. It's actually a Breakfast at Tiffany's inspired but I changed the hat into a pinkish thing as well as her nails, her um, eyeglasses, her dress, her necklace and then her hair turned, um, I don't know what that color is. It's actually like orange and green. And so she's like the new way. Oh, I said I hate this work. <laughs> Wish didn't create it. Um, yeah, um, I have no words for that. Uh, it's not that bad, but I don't like it. Um, and the last one here, it's actually Marilyn Monroe again. And so I ruined her face with color pencil and I can't erase it out with normal eraser. And so I ended up using a correction tape and it looks messed up. And so that's the last sketch and an ending quote also from Mary Poppins, the book version. And so it says, I do not say goodbye for we shall meet again, but for a little time, farewell, farewell. The sun, Mary Poppins. So, okay, so that's it for my sketchbook. I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for staying with me the entire video. And uh, maybe comment down below which one is your favorite work of mine. And I'm ending this video with the same quote from the sun in Mary Poppins, so bye!